hello everyone welcome to the next video this is video number five on talking with your inverter in this video i'm going to talk about how to hook up arduino with the mediation module that is max 3232 and uh, definitely how to then connect the max 3232 with the inverter so here is a picture of connection of uh, Arduino with max 3232 module and uh, you can see that uh, between Arduino and the max 3232 module TX will connect with TX and RX with, will connect with RX so there is no swapping uh, if we look at this uh, uh, pin map then you can see that this is GPS 17 and this is TX2 and this is 17 and this is this is tx2 and this has orange cable and orange cable is going to uh, tx of module 3232 so in between arduino and max there will be no swapping with between tx and rx tx should connect to tx and rx should, should connect to rx so Um, another tip is that uh, this max 3232 do support 3.3 and 25 volts but at times i have seen that this is the problem when i try to run 3.3 uh, volts uh, the max 3232 doesn't uh, uh, boot up properly so uh, if you have the option of 5 volts uh, i would i would suggest that you go with 5 volts Though I have successfully used this with 3.3 and ESP01, but uh, uh, 5 volts is safe bet. So let me show you uh, what is the output from max 3232, the TX wire. So let's check out the uh, max 3232 outputs and uh, If we connect ground with ground and check out the number three, so it is at minus eight. And what about the second one? And pin number two is at zero. So three is at minus eight and two is at zero to three is the transmitting okay i have faced uh, three connections issue and all of these three uh, occurs when arduino power ups once you get connected uh, these errors don't happen again like if you have overcome these errors um, they will not happen again even if you reload the sketch or you do the hard reset of the Arduino by through the reset button. So it, these only happen when you um, start up. So I will, these are the max 3232 uh, start voltage issue, overheating and communication problems. I will take you through these one by one. So you can see that uh, there is the TX LED in the left picture it is a bit dim and in the right picture it is very bright so very bright is transmitting and this is the normal mode of tx led when it's it is not transmitting but at times you you see that even this is uh, this dim red light doesn't appear the led is uh, totally uh, off so this is the problem at this stage the uh, this module doesn't work um, this uh, may be due to the power source it's, it doesn't have enough enough power or there or there is an, an you need to maybe change the power cable or you have connected like lot of uh, like uh, this happened when i was uh, i attached the lcd the 16 by x4 lcd at that time it happened but um, changing power source or the power cable resolved it and it start working um, 
the second video was uh, overheating and this also happens at the startup not once uh, it is working this doesn't heating problem doesn't arise uh, normally the temperature of this chip the max 3232 chip is 32 to 44 degrees centigrade or 90.39 Fahrenheit so if you touch this thumb with your this uh, chip with your thumb uh, you can feel the temperature but at time this start overheating and it I have monitored with the probe and it goes up to 59.31 Celsius so uh, all to overcome this problem all you need to do is disconnect the uh, voltage 5 volt or 3.3 whatever you are using and after a few seconds like four or five seconds reconnect it so uh, you can then uh, get rid of this problem so and the chip start starts cooling down and starts working again i was afraid that it was so hit up you can see the numbers that it is it's, this module is going to burn but uh, somehow it that never happened and what I accidentally found out that when this chip is heating, you get voltage on both RX and TX. Let me show you the video of that also. You need to keep an eye on the top right corner uh, where I am uh, touching the, this is the third pin. You can see there is a two two voltage both on rx and tx so this may be the problem so um, somehow there there is volts both on rx and tx and as i said you just need to disconnect the uh, power of the module and reconnect after a few seconds so this gets resolved so let's move to the third issue which is another one um, in this issue, there is no communication between MAX3232 uh, module and the inverter. What I have seen is this generally happens if you, because I, I have not deployed it yet, my solution. So I, I will keep connecting, disconnecting every day or every second day. So this also doesn't happen if, if this gets resolved. It doesn't happen again if uh, I have uh, kept left my uh, solution working for like eight nine hours this never happens this is again issue at, at the startup so uh, uh, they don't uh, talk to each other and uh, you need to disconnect and connect max 32 3 32 32 and inverter till the tx led the yellow led uh, turns on and power off itself i think it's it's difficult for me to explain let me show you the video you can then you can see uh, what i'm talking about this is the normal working when there is a request sent and you will receive back a, a reply so pink is sending and red green is receiving back here you can see that uh, the red uh, led blinking which means that there's a request but there is no reply from the inverter so here is the solution you keep connecting and disconnecting the db9 connectors uh, till the time the the receiving yellow led lets up so disconnect again wait connect disconnect again connect disconnect and you can see that this is lit up so you have to wait till this led is go to, goes down uh, turns off so it can take up to 30 seconds but generally it is five four four to five seconds i don't know why it seems like there is a buffer which is released and now when the leds turn off if you connect this you will instantly start receiving the replies so this is uh, a strange phenomena i can't explain this but this is how your module starts working All right, so we are through the problems uh, I had faced and um, 
let's talk about this uh, pin connections so uh, we recall that uh, in uh, the pin number two of inverter was at minus 14 so it was transmitting and pin three was at negative two, two which is receiving so this is receiving so this has to connect with the pin three of the module which is point, point uh, negative eight so this will connect with three will connect with three and two will connect with two and uh, this will start working so here max 3232 and inverters are cross-linked rx is connected with tx when we talked about arduino and max 3232 rx was connected with rx and tx was connected with tx so i hope this will help you while firing your uh, solution all right so this is another uh, strange <laughs> phenomena uh, i had another module with uh, max 3232 module with uh, female and db9 so uh, what i need to do i need to connect a gen gender changer but i need a, a null modem adopter because uh, in null modem adopter the rx and tx changes the pin 2 and 3 uh, get replaced in the standard gender, gender changer uh, this doesn't happen so you need to get this null modem uh, this will replace 2 and 3 uh, pins so that uh, the two female uh, connectors can get connected with each other so uh, I had to do this because uh, this my uh, null modem was female I didn't had the male one so I had to connect two gender changers in in addition to my null pointer so if you get this one uh, the male null modem you don't need to these use these yellow ones only this adapter will connect uh, will uh, connect the female and female db9s so i would suggest that uh, if you have this and the strange thing is that uh, uh, when i've started using this module uh, the three issues these three issues uh, these three issues didn't happen i don't know why i haven't uh, tested it a lot but uh, i have tried it five to six times i think uh, uh, all these three is overheating uh, the connect disconnect issue and uh, power issue this doesn't happen uh, with this uh, setup i don't know why i don't know why so and this module doesn't have that uh, rxt leds so i was a, a bit reluctant of using it so i couldn't know the errors but somehow the errors doesn't happen so keep trying maybe uh, uh, in your solution you don't face these problems which i have faced uh, and this is all for this video in next video i will talk about the issues on the software side crc and the coding side of arduino so i hope that you have found these videos helpful if you are they of any benefit think about giving a like to this video